Hey there folks, welcome to our Shoes Game Reviews live stream. It's early today. Um, yeah, it's early. So, jeez, I don't know how this thing works. So, okay, first of all, it is <laughs> April 9th, 8.15pm. The thing we have here today is the second issue of c Rod today, this is the disc. Here's the disc. And that's uh, going to be a whole bunch of demos. Windows 3.1 style should be pretty fun. Um, I want to say up front that this is the first live stream I think I'm doing since um, since like I got monetized for ads. So I don't know how that's going to work. It's possible that um, it's going to all of a sudden throw some ad in there and, and annoy people. I really don't know to be honest. Um, so this is a work in progress. I apologize if it's getting a little crazy. I don't know how to, you know, really... You'd think, like, you could get a subscription or something, like, on Twitch. I am on Twitch, by the way, too. You'd think you could get, like, a subscription to the channel, and then, like, the ads turn off, but I, I don't think it works that way on YouTube. I really don't know, honestly. So bottom line is, your guess is as good as mine. We're going to figure this out together. And uh, one nice thing is there's a button you can press to insert an ad because you're going to the bathroom or something. So... I used to step away sometimes, but that's a good time to do that. Hey, Hopster Key, how's it going? Hey, Jim. Jim says, demos. I love the demo scene. Let's see some demos. Well, it's not a type of demo, as you very well know. This is more like PC game demos, not like cool, um, artistic, fun stuff. But we'll get started in one sec. I just also want to mention I, I was at Midwest Gaming Classic a couple days ago. <laughs> Jim was sincerely disappointed. Um... Yeah, sorry about that, Jim. I was at Midwest Gaming Classic. I had fun. It was a cool show. Would recommend it if you're in the area and you like mostly console games. There was a couple of PC things there. I I got uh, where is that? Uh, I don't know what I do with it already. I got some stuff, but it's but it's like <laughs> to actually find what I do with it is going to be a bigger challenge. Anywho, yeah, sorry, Jim. It's my fault. I should have told you. I was there on Sunday, and uh, yeah, it was it was fun. All right, let's get some, let's go go in some with some games. So here we have the disc. Let me know if the volume is okay. So first of all, um, there's a video here. Volume is good, all right. So you can watch this guy welcome you to the disc again. Hi, I'm Lance Elko. We think that CD-ROM today and its companion disc are an unbeatable combination for today's CD-ROM music. We hope you enjoy it. I'm not so sure about that. Hey, Dorian, how you doing? Yeah, there's some, there's some other video here that I couldn't get to actually work. Um, I don't remember where it was. Okay, let's go to Multimedia Mega Blitz. 160 by 120 frames per second. My old nemesis, yeah. So, you know, it's not really very well integrated. So, like, here, the first thing is 3 Body Adventure. This fine knowledge adventure cannot be loaded for Windows. You must go to Return to DOS, go to the Body Demo Directory, run install EXE. So let's do that. I just have to exit the whole damn thing. So the Windows is just for show. <laughs> Come on, keyboard. Alright. It sounds like music. Knowledge adventure. Have fun. Get smart. All right, sounds good to me. Well, run to our windows. No. The three dinosaur adventure we did. That was that was awesome. So hopefully this demo will be really good too. All right, so I guess our body demo. I think I just speed up the cycles. Maybe. 
probably. Okay. I don't think I have control, do I? You show a skeleton in a very small window. Welcome to the 3D Body Adventure Demo. There are four modules to experience, including the Emergency Game, the Body Recall Game, the 3D Body Reference Screen, and the 3D Body Theater. Click on one of the four modules to start the demo. Okay, hang on a second. I should move the window a little bit. The knowledge of venture processors is either here floppiness or mean encyclopedias, yeah. These are tweaked 360 by 40 on stock VGA. Prepare for body imaging and exploration. My dad's a radiologist, he went like this. <laughs> That's funny. Total recall, yeah. Clicked, it was like a racer, wasn't it? Also, click directly on the rota rota wait, click directly on the rotating the rotating body. What's rotating? To bring it near the heart of the digital hand. Zoom inside the heart. Uh, how do I click on it? That's what I when I move the mouse, it's like move the dude. Click directly on the rotating okay. body. They're doctors, not English teachers. Uh, the heart of the digital hand. Ribs. Ribs. Okay. I want to see the heart. What the hell is it? I mean, he doesn't have a freaking heart. He's a skeleton. The digital hand. Why is, I guess it's called digits. It's the digital hand because he has digits. Oh, I can rotate it. The mouse moves the hand over, like up and close. That's cool. So it really is like sort of 3D. Click to learn about the heart. Why? The heart. That's cool. I didn't realize hearts are that color. It looks like one of those models. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Oh my god. Holy cow. Yeah. Now we're talking. I like moving the mouse. Like if I stop it, like take my head off the mouse, there's nothing. I like sort of navigating slightly with the mouse, like on rails. Wow, that was so cool. <laughs> Alright, now what? Put your 3D glasses on? See, we don't have 3D glasses. Did you get a 3D view? That's pretty cool, actually. Alright, let's go back to the main menu. What else is there? Emergency game. Save the patient. It's up to you. Okay, let's hear this on a floppy disk. It's really cool. What the hell? Hello? You are the doctor in a virtual emergency room. Click on the console in front of you to find out about your patients. Go exploring throughout the hospital. There are many things to see and learn about. Wow, it's like a 3D game. Telepatient Mike Connor, male age 12. It's like the Terminator. Diagnostic information console, click to activate. Physical exam, normal looks like an animal bite near the right ankle. Painful right, oh no. He probably uh, got bitten by a snake. What do I do with him? Um, doctor, I was bitten by <laughs> a fun. crazy dog yesterday and I'm really scared. The bite hurts a lot. I wasn't even doing anything to the dog. My mom's worried I might get rabies. She said you were gonna stick me in the stomach with a bunch of really big needles. Can I leave now? 
That's funny. So what do I do? Um, doctor. Oh, I said it right. I was bitten by a I saw crazy right. dog yesterday, yourself. and I'm really scared. Or virtual medical unit. Hurts a lot. I was. Oh, shut up. When you purchase the full 3D body adventure product, clicking on this screen will transport you into the virtual body maze. In the 3D body maze, you will be able to travel inside the body in order to find the germs and cure the patients. This might be the first one to see your arm, interesting. Can I click at next patient? Or will it say like that? You can only do it with the full version. Oh. Ooh, she looks... Where's her shirt? Let's see the diagnostic console. 99.3 degrees. Left upper quadrant and epigastric abdominal pain. Abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea. Let's see what she has to say. I mean, I can't help her. I can only do that for the, the full game, I guess. Ow! Oh, that hurts. Don't poke me in the belly like that. What kind of voice is that? Oh, my stomach has been hurting since <laughs> yesterday morning. I vomited twice yesterday, and now I have diarrhea. Today I even collapsed at work because I felt so Dude, I felt weary. <laughs> Doc, please help me. I'm feeling really <laughs> sick. Uh, this is not that type of clinic, ma'am. So I guess I can't actually help her. That's sort of stupid. Like, how many more patients are there that I can't help? Oh, there's another guy here. John Davis. Hundred and three degrees, that's not good. Decreased breath sounds. This guy definitely sick. Probably like pneumonia or something. Doc, I've been feeling terrible for three days now. I can hardly move. Never been this sick before. Those are no shirt. I have a high fever. I guess we're taking his I'm chest back now, actually. Keep coughing and coughing. Hardly anything ever comes up. Tylenol helps make my fever go down, but still feel like I'm gonna drop dead. <laughs> Please help me. I just don't know what to do. I was gonna be like, I just don't know what to do. Tylenol is a registered trademark of the McNeil Consumer Products Company. This guy has a poor accent too. Jeez. Is that the last one? No, it's still another one. John Atkins. Well, who cares about the reality? Let's just hear what they have to say. I can come on turn. Doc, for the past few months, whenever I walk up the stairs in my house, I feel pressure in my chest. Pain has been getting worse lately. Sometimes I even feel pain in my jaw. Dude's like about to have a heart attack. Shoulder. When it's really bad, I have to sit down for a while. The pain seems to go away. <laughs> so suppressed. I don't know what to do, Doc. This is making it hard just to get through the day. He sounds like he has like, severe heart problems. But we don't care. We can't treat him. We have to pay. I'm back to Timmy. Or Mike Connor. Or what else can we do here? Is there anything else in this hospital? This really long hole with those doors. Go. You can do it. Go. Hurry, doctor. Save the patients. But you can't. Oh, wait, there's another there's turn here. It's the cafeteria. Where's the cafeteria? Go this way. This is like the longest hall with nothing there. What's this? What the hell's that? Is this floating stomach? Ooh, ooh. I can't do anything with it. It's just like a battle of the stomach. Oh, it's like the endoscopy room? It's freaking weird. Alright, this is a weird hospital. I think it's time to... How do we get out of this? Is there any out? How do I get out of here? What kind of a game is this, by the way? If I, you can't save the patients. I mean, okay, let's try to go back to the way I came in. Maybe that's the exit. I have to go to the front door. Go ahead, go faster. Pretty sure I came from this way. I 
exit. There we go. What a wonderful interface. Alright, body recall is probably just some stupid memory game. I mean, it must be, but let's try let's it anyway. Play body recall. Just the first of the three body recall levels. Hey, stars, man. Here. Purchase the full product to challenge and entertain the younger budding doctors of the house. It's just memory. Oh, I see. Brain. Is that right? Oh, I, was I don't want to rotate it. Stomach. At least it's like you learned something here. Liver. Lungs. Heart. Yeah, I'm good. Kidneys. Look how awesome I was. With this brain other huge by the top left panel. Alright, what's the 3D theater? 3D body theater. <sighs> Click on one of the four buttons located on the right side of the screen to play the brain movie. It can be viewed either full screen or in the monitor window in either normal or 3D mode. Yes, yeah, so is just one of 16 spectacular movies in 3D body adventure. Purchase the full 3D body adventure to see all the fantastic flybys. All right, shut up. So, yeah, Stars made two things. First of all, we did have an earthquake a few days ago. Um, it was very weird. My whole house shook. And second of all, yeah, this, I was I said at the beginning of the stream, this is the first stream I've ever done where I've been monetized for ads. So I think they're going to put some ads in the live stream. I don't know how it works. I don't really know how to control it. I don't know if there's a way to turn it off. I know very little about this, so please uh, accept my indulgence for this one. The stereo movie, the full screen stereo movie. Tell us that. A brainstem. Oh, brain stem. Ugh, I hate brains. I can't look at brains. It makes me sick. Pituitary. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, oh, good man. It makes me nauseous to look at brains. My eyes are closed. I, I think your word for it, lady. Temporal lobe. Yeah, you say so. I don't want to think about brains. Ugh. Frontal lobe. Oh my god. Go away. Go away. Please. I'm not listening. La 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 la. Is it almost done? La 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 Oh my god, it's not that Cerebrum What did poor Sarah Bella ever do to you? Oh, gross stars, man well, That's what they call like sweet bread, right? S sweet meats Ugh Oh, oh, no, oh, please Oh Stop I can't take it anymore Oh my god, how long is this going to go on? I, I, I want to click and end it, but I feel bad for the rest of you, even though I'm talking over it. Oh, I can still see it. Brainstem. Cooking with gravy. Hey, Lewis, how's it going? I don't like brains. Pituitary. Oh, wait, it's enough. It's, it's repeating now. Turn it off. Get out of here. Oh my god. Alright, that's enough of this. How do we exit this? Alright, that was okay, but... Oh, my God. Try these other great products. Look at all the products they had. 3 Dinosaur Adventure. That was the, the really awesome one. America Adventure. Bug Adventure. Kid Zoo. IMAX Discoveries. IMAX Speed. Science Adventure 2. I guess it must be a Science Adventure 1. Space Adventure. Undersea Adventure. And Zerk's Learning Safari. For three, th for free 3D glasses. Call that number. I think it doesn't work anymore, but that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back into the windows. Let's see what's next. 
Alright. Medieval France. What the hell is that? Why is my mouse acting weird? Explore the beauty and grandeur of medieval European architecture in this interactive tour. Okay. The hell is this? Enter a journal name. Anybody here from France? What do I do? Time tour or grand tour? Oh, that's boring. What? What do you do here? Oh my god, this is so stupid. Lame. I don't even see any videos or anything. Alright, that was horrible. <laughs> Wired for sound. The sound FX manager for videos. Yeah, I remember when they sold those things. I used to have, like, my CD-ROM drive came with, like, Autobots birds and, like, something, animals or something. I don't remember crap like that. Endangered Species. This beautiful demo of the multimedia disc on endangered species also has an optional... Wait, what? Okay, let's see what this is. Why is my mouse doing up and down for? Hang on a second. What the hell's happening here? The mouse sensitivity is, like, off for some reason. All right. Let's try this. Anyway. Install. Install Power CD. I don't want screensaver. Okay. Power CD. The Encyclopedia of U.S. Endangered Species. Uh, Overture. Experience the opening multimedia presentation. Sure. Uh, okay. Teddy Roosevelt, the 26th President of the United States, said, Nothing short of defending the country in war compares with the task of leaving this land a better land for our descendants than it was for us. It's a great impression. Today, in most parts of the world, we have put a stop to the senseless wars that have plagued humankind have for we? millenniums. Have we? I didn't know this. Yet also today, increasing industrial development threatens not only our natural environment, but our very existence as human beings. President Roosevelt challenged us to leave this land a better place for our descendants. The best barometer of how we are doing voice. in meeting this challenge is the continuing status of the endangered species featured on this encyclopedia. I thought multimedia would Welcome be like some moving pictures. Of US Not like some dude just talking and text. This multimedia encyclopedia features comprehensive 20 to 60 page reports on almost These are the only presentations, the only multi, those are multimedia presentations, gallery of title pages. It's, it's 70 seconds long, that one. Introduction to the operating environment. I'm curious, this is like, oh my god. I don't hear any talking even. Wow, this is garbage. Alright, how do I exit out of here? Yes, definitely. Yeah, no better gallery than Flowers, Flowers of Robert Mapplethorpe. I never saw you play that except for ABGN, though. Or remind me with Looney Tunes. Uh, I'm not, it's, it's a personal reminder system, so forget that. Planet Paradise, a multimedia personal planet. Ooh, as well as parents, several swimsuit models with swimwear, swimwear Illustrated. I never heard of Swimwear Illustrated. I've heard of Sports Illustrated. Let's see what this is. Bill Bud like just take me to the the swimsuit models. Oh, they'll <laughs> there they are, right? <laughs> this is a great personal planner, I gotta say. It's definitely a personal planner. <laughs> Look at this. This is a scaled down version of the personal daily planet. Daily planet, uh huh. Complete product is four different images. <laughs> Stars me ace, I'll take the bottom one. Hops are key, you sure you don't want to you know, undo your thought there? 
Have you ever, anybody heard of Swimwear Illustrated? Planet Paradise. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I guess uh, it's, it's, it expired because like I'm running this thing and it's like 2024. It's probably based on the date. Well, I think I think we saw the most important part of the of the demo anyway, so I think we're good. All right, what else do we got here? Multimedia toolkit. These are just all utilities. Morph. Cinema. This is just utilities, it looks like. I, this is what didn't work for me. I tried to run these, and they didn't work. God, could not find, video not available. It's possible I have to install one of the utilities that they have, but it's not worth it to see a video of this thing. It's not, like, so cool. All right, let's go to all new edutainment. Learning has never been so much fun. Living books. I've, I've played living books before. I mean, I've, they're not really much of a play, but let's try it. Well, that was quick. Here we go. Arthur's Teacher Trouble. Sure, loaded fast. I love edutainment, don't you guys? I think stars may have preferred the uh, swimsuit models, though. Okay. Arthur's Teacher Trouble by Mark Brown. These are basically books that they read to you. I don't know how a demo of this would work. Oh, these are Spanish. Hello, my name is Arthur. Welcome to Living Books. To have the story read to you, click right here. To play inside the story, click over here. Let's read me the story. Here is the story in English. How much of the story are they going to have? Did you watched the Arthur Show, the Lewis? The bell rang. The first day of school was over. Kids ran out of every classroom. Everyone but room 13. I had a bunch of these CDs when I was a kid. When I was a kid, it was, it was after my time. It was more like I found them later on. Filed out slowly, but it, they're not really order. much games, a thing, so... They're cool, though. Mr. Ratburn. See you tomorrow. Said their teacher, Mr. Ratburn. Mr. Ratburn? Yes, Mr. Ratburn. Good afternoon, Mr. Ratburn. You suck, Mr. Ratburn. So you can, I guess, click and you can, if you want to play the, the story, it's. Ha! <laughs> that's it, you get one freaking thing? I mean, that makes sense, because it's a demo. What happens if I press play the story? That's the thing with these titles in general. They're 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 like sort of cool, but there's very little um, content in even in the full thing. Let me try to let me play. See what it does. You have okay. It's the same thing. The bell rang. The first day of school was over. Kids ran out of every classroom, everyone but room 13. So you gotta wait till the story is told. Slowly, in alphabetical order. Come on. See you tomorrow, said their teacher, Mr. Ratburn. Arthur decided to kick Mr. Rapper by the screw. Oh, and actually, now I get to control it. We had fun today, didn't we? Yes, Mr. Rapper. Some sarcastic kids. I like the fact you control it at least. It's more like a. This is the living book part. <laughs> the question seemed threatening. That's funny. Good 
So I guess after you trigger enough stuff, that it lets you go to the next thing. Is that how it works? Yes, Mr. Ratburn. This is going to be a long year. <laughs> hmm. Good afternoon, Mr. Ratburn. Well, I guess she's going to click on this to go to the next page. Yeah. And then I guess it's going to be like, to see more, pay us lots of money. Cold Breeder Bund. Is it pronounced Broder Bund, Breeder Bund, Brazero de Bund? I'm not really sure. This fade in, fade out takes a long time. Okay, quit. Should we try another one? Oh, God. Are you sure you want to quit? Okay, goodbye. Brudabund? I don't even know what New Kid of the Block demo is. Oh, let's see. These are games I'm never going to play, so... I mean, this is a cool idea, but it, again, it doesn't have much, enough content in it to be worth it. Slow going. That grandma looks pretty messed up at the kid, those two, so I guess they're even. Let's look at this. We're going to get Japanese, Hi, too. I'm Little Critter. Welcome to Living Books. To have the story read to you, okay. I guess we still get the story read to us, so. We went to the beach. Just grandma and me. Teacher showed you this game? Interesting. Are they supposed to be like gerbils? When is the bus coming, Grandma? It will be here soon. Are you excited? Yeah, Grandma, I am. You're a loser, child. We went to the beach. Oh, I, th I didn't realize that it's was to repeat it. So I this, if I go click on this arrow, the bus will probably come. Yeah, there we go. It's the beach bus. It said beach on it. That's such a great, you know, story. What was this lump shape? Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, it's a, it looked like a gerbil or something. This this story was so good, you know, from seeing that one thing. I definitely would have paid money for this now because I got so sucked into the story. I honestly don't know, like, what I would do if I don't see the end of it because they showed me so much. Do you have the story read to you? <laughs> yeah, let's see what else there is. I know. I'm being sarcastic, Dory. Bullshit. Okay. So long, jackass. I tried to kill the block demo. I gotta watch the logo for this again. It's a more time with the logo than anything else. He feeds his grandma a sand covered hot dog? Like on purpose? <laughs> or by accident? I'm like a Windows XP t shirt, by the way, you guys can see. He drops my action and watches see what. Poems by Jack Prilecki. Oh, poems, even better. We got poems now. He drops my action, watches with seawater, and feeds it to her anyway. Because kids are stupid, that's funny. What the hell? Hi, I'm Jack Prilecki. Welcome to Living Books. 
I wrote the poems in The New Kid on the Block. Though I'm usually a poet, today I'll be your guide. To okay. have a poem read to you, click Read to Me. To play inside a poem, click Let Me Play. Okay. Interesting, they actually got the author. I, I never heard of this guy, but... I spied my shadow slinking up behind me in the night. It's cute. I issued it a challenge, and we started into fight. It's freaking playing Legend of Zelda 2. Not much to click on, is there? The whole thing is like empty. I'm not sure what I clicked clicking on the wall what that did. Oh, that exited it? Let's try that again. I want to see that again. I didn't think that was going to exit it. Come on. I spied my shadow. You can't like skip it or anything. Up behind me in the night, I issued it a challenge, and we started. By the way, this is like a fifth grade poem. So this dude, this really old dude, wrote this poem. Like, is he supposed to be proud of this? I mean, I'm pretty sure I could have done this long you know, when I was very young. I wrestled with oh, it's not done yet. shadow, but it wasn't any fun. I tried the animations are fun. Hardest, all the same, my shadow won. Yeah, I agree, Stars Man. The animations are good. <laughs> they don't even get like a new animation, just the same thing. And that's it. Page one and page two. <laughs> At least we got two pages on this one. So you call this number and it's like, Hey Jimmy, we got a live one on the phone. What? Someone actually called that number for the demo? That's right, they called the number. His guitar is broken. You have a poem read to you. Look at that look on his face. Are you sure you want to all right? Damn yeah, sure. Goodbye. I want more of the tortoise and the hare. The famous story, probably. Okay. Welcome to Living Book. I'm the tortoise. Which is my first PC? And this is the story of how I beat him in the race. It all began one day when the tortoise was lying around, not doing anything, and I was trying to help him get moving. Ah, gotta go. See you later. <laughs> to find out what really happened, you'll have to hear the story. Okay. My first PC like that it was IBM compatible or first PC period. Matt, how's it going? Matt says, "Hey, Stu, watch you on the YouTube VR app by Quest this Three. Is the story when are you going to stream their VR game? The I don't know. Bear. Hopefully soon." The tortoise was a friendly fellow who moved at his. I think there's a miss demo in this thing. Might my, my spur me to play this? Do the miss VR at some point. Period. <sighs> Tier City Model One. Good morning, birds. The hare was a busy person who was always on the move. I don't think a hare is a person. <laughs> Why does he brush his teeth inside his house? Is that an indoor plumber? Okay. The I am a dumbass. 
Don't you just love mornings? Don't no, you... They're too slow. Don't you just love mornings? Hey, Slowpoke, what are you doing? His voice changed. At your speed, it'll be lunch before you finish breakfast. It will not. But I'm late. Gotta go. So loser. Yeah, the animation is pretty good. It's just that the, the, all these titles are so short, and this demo is even shorter. The hair is easy. <laughs> the tortoise is a lobotomy patient. The tortoise seems sort of normal, actually. I just like to sit here on my butt. I'm not wearing any to pants. Find out what really happened. You'll have to hear the story. I'm not wearing any pants. You, you can to see my here. glory. To play Hit the story, the story to see my glory. Here. This would be a good base for Ichi Stavich. It would have. Okay, then. I didn't expect that. Make him seem like an old dude. This is the best part. <laughs> the, the dancing demon, the better. That was awesome. Find out what really happened. That was really cool, actually. <laughs> Are you sure you want? Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. If years after dancing, even. Uh... Right, what else do we have here? Ruff's Bone exclusive preview. Oh wait, if you enjoy the other living books, wait until you meet the lovable Ruff in this advanced peak at the latest vibe. There's one more, I guess. <laughs> Matt's as scared to see me. I went my entire life. Let's see that dancing turtle. There's one more exclusive sneak peek. That's funny. Oh, this is a random house slash bourbon. Look at icon. Pictures, Ruff's Bone by Eli Noyes. Anybody here of Ruff's Bone? I didn't. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff. Hello, my name is Ruff. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff. Ruff, Ruff, Ruff. Welcome to Living Books. Ruff, Ruff. This is the translator talking. To have the story read to you, click right here. This is cute. To play inside the story, click over here. Ruff looks like the set animal. I don't know what that is. This is really cute though. Is he gonna do a dance also? He is. I like this. It's <laughs> break dancing. Oh, that's what you mean by set. I didn't think about that. goes a long way. To have the story. Okay. Doggone it. Missed again. Hey there, rough old boy. Don't worry, Ruff. He'll be out in a minute. What creative name for a dog? Ruff. Look at me. Look at me. Is the sound okay? You guys hear it okay? I'm assuming it is. You know we complain. It was time for my Sunday bone. My master always threw it, and I always. 
brought it back. That was far too good. I guess I missed. Guess I missed. Oh. The animation is cute. Looks like a TV repairman or something. Whoa, I didn't know my own strength. Go get it, Rook. Rook's even the dog of Dennis the Menace, was it? I don't recall. <laughs> Great demo, guys. Wonderful. Wonderful. Bravo. I mean, like, the intro was really cool, but, like, they can't go more than, like, one page. They can go two pages. Are you sure you want... Okay, goodbye. You hit me on the head. Alright, Toon Land with High Mandel. I think I actually have this game, but I never played it. Um, I definitely have Gus Goes to Cybertown. I never played that either. Forever Going Garden, I don't know what that is. We'll do Toon Land. I first want to get some more soda, so give me one second. I'm going to press the button that supposedly puts an ad in during my, during like my soda break. So I apologize if it's really bad, but I, want to, I don't know what's going to happen. So... You guys just enjoy this for one second. I'll be back right away. Just give me one sec to get some soda. Come on. This thing sucks. Come on, damn it. Alright, there we go. So what happened? I played an ad? What was the ad? I didn't see the ad. I can't see it from here. Mmm. Delicious chocolate chip cookies. Nope. Nope. Nope means, is that nope? No ad or even better. Okay, perfect. What? Their advert, they're screaming back to the beginning? That's not good. What was the ad for? Stars me. Alright, let's try this here. Um, launch or install? I think I got like one millionth of a penny from that ad. That's how I made I bought this game because it comes with a harmonica. Or as I say in England, a mouth organ. Just <laughs> trying to give it Ramadan. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a great song. 
<laughs> Let me see if you lay up the carving knife. I hope, I hope so, but I doubt it. I, I don't know what's going on here, honestly. Okay. Hi, Howie. I didn't know you were here. You weren't supposed to. I've been playing hide and seek. Oh. This is a game? What or a movie? Okay, and now, and now we got a word from our sponsor. That looks like Howie Mandel, the young version. What do he do? He digitized himself? He killed himself? I'm not really sure what happened. Your Jesus, maybe I don't know. What the hell's going on? Doesn't seem like it was game. I never heard that song. Period. Pie put the kettle on. Thank you for telling me that it was called Dory, because I wouldn't know what it was. Oh, okay. All right, well, that was that was interesting, but I don't don't really understand how it works because I didn't interact at all. It's an interactive cartoon, but there was no interaction. Forever Growing Garden. Okay. It did say it did say exit the disc. Let me try that. Oh, that's wonderful. We know these have at least a four megabyte swap file. All right, let me maybe I have to do something here. Let's see. Hold on. Let's try. Let's see what it says. Control panel. Oops. Control panel. Three six enhanced. Oh, I have plenty of virtual memory. Yeah, that should not be the problem. Or right, I can restart Windows if you say so, Matt. I don't think it's gonna help, but we'll see. Yeah. Well, it's too bad. I'm sure it was really, really good. I'm not going to waste time with it because it sounded like it was horrible. All right. Uh, let's try Gus Goes to Cybertown. Not even going to talk or anything? Hi. My name is Gus. Hi. My name is Gus. Hi. My name is Gus. <laughs> I would get your name if you want to play in Cybertown. Oh, that guy's what the hell? My name is Gus. I'll be your friend. I can show you where the rainbow ends. I'll be your bud. I'll show you Cybertown. What the fuck is this? There's a toy store. Excuse me. Shop to the grocery and the laundry. Do you want to see the cyberific park? And knowing you the way I do the toy store is a great place to start. Hey, Gary. <laughs> the kid on the bench is tripping. The kid on the bench changed colors like five times. It also turned from a boy to a girl and back. What's this? This, this, this freaking weird. <laughs> he just, what? Oh, my God. All right, Stars Manny, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, hey, we're going to the toy store, the good girl and boy store, where the cyber buds are playing. And you can play there too. Try the alphabet asteroid on the SS Gus. It's the neatest toy in the toy store. The cyber buds and you. What was that?
Who does that? Do you see that shining letter on the spaceship guts? When you find that same letter on an asteroid, just click away on the mighty mouse and take a terrible aim. It's the alphabet asteroid game. Did you say take terrible aim or take careful aim? So I said take terrible aim. What? Uh, so that, where did it go? Oh, okay. I don't know what, what the hell. Now we're going to the laundry. We got to clean the clothes. Yeah, we're going to the laundry. Going to wash and dry. It's like Folsom Prison Blues. It's a part of daily living. Shot a man Rio just to watch him die. Yes, it is. Let's have some fun and keep on smiling. It's like a copyright strike for ripping off Johnny Cash. NPR. What? There's Billy. You know, <laughs> exactly. I hang my head and cry. Good one, Gary. <laughs> I, this thing is, I think it's the speed is a little off. I can't wait to stop at the Cybertown pet shop where the animals live and play. They are waiting for me, cause I love them, you see, and we all need love every day. Yes, we all need love every day. Ah, that's so beautiful. <laughs> what the if you're ready to play, just add the bubble together. Slow it down. Click on the correct number below and something cyber bubblish will happen. Something cyber bubblish will happen. Nine. You think I'm tripping? Look at this guy. I slowed down more, baby. Eight. I, I don't know how. I couldn't think I'd slow it down enough. Right, how do I exit this? Exit, exit. Let's exit the whole game, though, I think. It, it's definitely like going too fast. I'll slow it down even more, see if it makes a difference. Oranges and apples. Peaches and bananas. I love to go to the grocery store. Whatever you want, they have it. Cereal and popcorn, lettuce and tomatoes, milk and eggs and cheese and more. Remember the potato. <laughs> Gee, milk. Cyberbuds try every day to be the best they can in every way. This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen. Can I go to the park? Oh, there's a litter here. Okay. Albert Einstein, Henry the Eighth, Caesar, King Tut, don't be late. What happened to him? Wonderful man came from the eight. I'm gonna travel through time. Michelangelo made oh. the David. It's a work of art to the world. He gave it. Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. Let's all travel through time. Pick on the mouse. See the log cabin. Pick it again. It's a covered wagon. You never know what will happen. Look out, kids. You might find a dragon. Find me a dinosaur, pterodactyl, and the whole thing. That was a heifer, I'll say, try to left my pop charts. Never a bore, I'm gonna travel through time. Come travel with me through time. Just move my head to any point on the line. Why are you doing it by yourself, then? Some scientists today believe dinosaurs became extinct when a huge asteroid smashed into the Earth. This is so freaking weird. <laughs> and it just goes back here. Well, this is the demo, I guess, so, uh, all right, this is, this is really trippy, honestly, like, I think I actually have this game somewhere on the shelf behind me, actually, or on the big pile of games behind me, I have to open it up for, for a video at some point, Rafi, what's Rafi, 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 what is that, it seems, it seems ridiculous, all right, that's, I think enough of this dude here, hi, my name is Gus, yeah, we got welcome that. to Cybertown, where there's lots of fun things to do and learn. As you explore, oh, kids focus. you will meet the Cyberbuds, Rant, Rom, and Rave. They are hidden in the four stores and the Cybertown Park. When you find all, he looks so weird. This them, guy. You too will become a Cyberbud, 
and experience the Cyberbud song, which is in the secret final screen. The bud meter, located under the help button in each screen, will tell you how many cyber buds you have found and where you have found them. See you in Cybertown! Alright, it's, it's a game of some kind. I just, it's just really weird. Alright, that's enough though, but that... Definitely interesting. Hi, my name is Gus. Click here if you want... Oh, messed up everything here. It even says here, there's a slight palette clash on our interface. When you exit Gus, everything may appear negative. Or just click a couple of buttons and the screen will redraw itself in the proper color scheme. Let's see. Uh, almost. <laughs> I guess you click on everything. It's it's so sort of almost. Look at the, the logos. Oh, okay, wait. We're getting there. <laughs> Let's just close it and restart it. All right, so that was all the edutainment. Let's see the interactive gaming excitement. And the first thing is missed. Oh my God, missed. I hope this works. Installation for missed. Let's see. Let's try to see. Hope it works. Uh, let's exit here. Where is it? Don't see it. Order run software. Missed demo. Okay. Missed preview. Sneak preview and scenes from missed. So I never saw this before. Interesting. Hey, let's do sneak preview. This game, when it came out, it was really, like, revolutionary. Oh, why did it put me inside the library? That's supposed to start off here. So, like, if you ever played Mist before, it was a point-and-click adventure that came on CD. Hey, Ashley, how's it going? Where's the dollop to it? Along to AOL here. It's right here. Was that good? Okay. Um, <laughs> so, it was a, a CD-ROM game, and um, it basically said, like, imagine you're really, like, all of a sudden thrown into this other world. And the big thing was, like, this, these Bring Me the Red Pages and the Blue Pages guys. You click on this book, and if it works, which is not... Why is that even working? It's supposed to see, it's supposed to see like, a, like, a video of static, but it's doing nothing. The video is not working for some reason. Why the hell isn't it working? I got my an error message or anything. It's supposed to be a video where you can barely see anything, and the and the, and the guy goes like, "Bring me the blue pages," oh, and then like the other one is like, the "Guys, bring me the red pages." But I don't know why it's not working. It's very disappointing. We'll have to find a version of this game that does work. Probably a quick time issue, yeah, but like it, you'd think it would give me at least uh, some kind of uh, some kind of error. These books, you can read all these books. We're certainly not going to read them here now. Definitely a lot. A lot of the all the animations are missing, pretty much. See, this, this this thing was supposed to turn into stairs, and it did, but you wouldn't actually see it happening. It just did it like... I think just the anima all the animations are not working. But it's not giving any errors. It's sort of bullshit. So, okay, you can't really get a sense of the game if there's no, if there's no quick time. You can't leave the library of the demo. It was a pretty shitty demo, then. Can't do anything with the demo. Maybe they cut the animations. So they couldn't get a room with the demo disc. It's possible, but how could they, how could there be a demo without even like the bring me the red pages thing? 
maybe the picture pages. Yeah, I mean, like that's that's like the most iconic part of this is those weird brothers. Bring me the red pages. Do not listen to my brother. He is psychotic. And the guy's like, oh, bring me the, the blue pages. Do not get the red pages. My brother, he is crazy. Do not listen to him. Bring me only blue pages. Bring me only the red pages. All right, let's get out of here. It's this bullshit. I mean, actually, let's see what the uh, let's see what the other thing is. Steeds from Mist. It's probably as much a slideshow, but let's see. Yeah, literally, it's a slideshow, but. I guess the game probably was not quite done yet. <laughs> it said it was already out for Macintosh. This is the Windows version. Where is that thing that I had? The game looks really shitty like this. If I watch this demo, I'll never play the game. You need something to hook you in. This this did not really do it. I saw it where I thought it was like a dentist chair or something. It's like a planetarium chair. Catherine, you must help me. I've hidden the code to the Mist Island in these Marcus which is on this temple or whatever the hell I'm saying. Come find the pages and bring them to me. Basically, there's only three characters in the whole game. Two, three, and two of them are the same actor. So these are the two brothers who made the game. Rand and, um, what are their names? Miller. Rand Miller and, um, what's the other guy's name? I can't remember now. Anyway, they, they two two brothers made the game. Like one of them did most of the art, one of them did most of the programming, and then they played between the two. They played the three characters: Robin Miller, Rand Miller, and Robin Miller. Is that the names? Nice to see these screens. It'd be much better if you could actually interact and work this demo. Yeah, I wonder. It's really weird. I wonder what happened to the video. You would, again, you'd expect if there was some kind of problem playing the video, it would give me an error. And all the other games, all those moving books and shit, didn't have any problems. Didn't take more than SVG and graphics and press back in '93. I guess suppose so. This is '94 though, so it should have been more than that. This is June, July, 1994. It's like showing, it feels like it's showing almost the entire game. I mean, they probably had all these static screens because they, they had the Macintosh version. So they could have theoretically showed almost all of it if they wanted to. They just didn't put it together into a game. Man, I can't believe how long this is going. And it feels like just totally random. You'd think that they would show some like pictures that are connected to each other, not just like random screenshots. I guess there's some connection. I don't know what it is. Or you said that before. Wow, it's still going. It's variable wherever fine software is sold, and in some places where crappy software is sold, you might be able to find it also. Should I keep going or should I just quit it out of here? I can just stop it. Anybody want to see more or do we want to quit? Bail. Alright. We bailed. You'd like to know more? Well, if you'd like to know more, it's very good. You can go to brewerbun.com. If you can find it, that site. <laughs> uh, where was this thing? What's it called? I, I don't even know anymore. It's not this. Where's my, where's my the disc? 
The media vision multimedia, no. Is it main? No, games? No. Oh, it's probably further down. See you, Rob, today. All right, what else we got? The music does hold up, I agree. Theme park, oh my god, I hate this shit. I don't like simulations, but I know you guys will be like, oh my god, theme park, I love theme park, it's amazing. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what to do, because it's like, see the disc pages in the magazine, but let's try to see if I can find it and run it. Theme park. TP demo. TP sucks? Alright, good. We'll play it then. Oh, uh, yeah. Hello, computer. Two choices here. Start demo version or quit the DOS. Oh, it's too fast. Oh. <laughs> what the hell happened? Park closed, park closed. Oh, my God. All right, hang on. I have to exit out of this game. How do I exit? Oh, jeez. How, how do you quit the game? It's you, buddy, has just cheated? Use control C is cheating. I was trying to quit. Yeah, how do I quit the game? Where's the quit? Oh, wait. There's like a... Overall charts? What? Wow. I, I tried control Q. It didn't do anything. Now it's snowing. I think this is like broke. Oh, okay. Quit. What cycle should I use? Oh, that's not super slow. <laughs> If there wasn't enough cycles, I can make it more though. All right, let's make it a little faster. Okay, welcome to the party. You can to a bit of a small park. Good, do that. It's already 11 January, 12 January. It's, oh, it's going too fast. I, what's the right speed? Click on the flashing path. Okay, lay the path, click the, the LMB for the flashing squares. What? Okay. Next, we can choose, we can choose a ride to play, to place down by RMB. Not choose, not choose a ride, we can choose a ride. Alright, I guess my only choice is the bouncy castle. Place it here. Just tell me where to put it, so put it here. Place the entrance to the ride down. 
Where does it tell me to put the entrance? Okay, here. All right. Now you must put the exit to the ride. Place it. Where's here? There. I was join the ride to the path. Look how this icon is like cues. Now I just join the exit to the path. Okay, click the path icon. Little people get hungry for a shop for them. Mr. Whippy's ice. I feel like it's going way too slow, but that's fine for now. Open the gates by pressing the entrance. I don't. Pressing O. Okay. They have park open. It's trying to hire some staff. Look at the hire staff icon. What's, what's my favorite fair? Carnival festival food? Uh, hot dogs, popcorn, ice cream. Uh, hire this entertainer to keep people happy. Shark man. What, what just happened? What happened? The handyman. Don't exit. I'm trying to see what it is. Oh my god. Mechanic. Handyman. Shark man. This is an interesting game. Oh, let's try to put it here. <laughs> is that the right place? Pretty. Okay, there we go. You know, the little people are dropping the litter. Put a hand in the and clean up after them. I did that already. What are these guys? You're hungry? Your bouncy castle may need a repair. I thought I did a repair mechanic. He's just he's just eating freaking lunch. Oh my god, just get another I think you should put the price of your whippy whippy ices up by about fourteen. How do you do that? How come my money keeps changing from zero to 100k? How do I get back to the game? I don't know what's going on here. Is it, is I, okay, this is how you do it? What? Oh, I can make more stuff now. Bouncy castle, a tree house, merry-go-round, a ghost house. Let's do ghost house. Let's put it right freaking here. <laughs> you can't do that, I'm sure, right? I could drag it here. Uh, this, I don't want to play this. This is boring. I mean, it seems okay, I guess, but yeah, I agree. Bump this. Go play Spear of Destiny. I get the idea. It's just I don't. These, see, I don't see the point of these games, to be honest. Yeah, Discount Willy Wonka. I think Ashley said the same thing. Someone else called him Discount Willy Wonka. He's Discount Willy Wonka, I guess. All right, that was that was wonderful. I'm not super slow. Alright, what's the next game? That oh, was Spear of Destiny. Ask me from DOS. <laughs> Alright, we, pl we played Wolfenstein before the other, the other time, but let's try Spear of Destiny.
slow. I sped it up probably a little too much. Profound Carnage PC-13. So it's basically Wolfenstein engine. These trees make it hard to see what's going on. Fuck! The machine gun hiding behind the corner. Right, let's try it again. Ah. That was sort of bullshit. I only have to look a little fucking gun here. Oh. Right now we're talking. Is it like hit an area or something? It's kind of cool they faded me out, yeah. Oh, that was a good shot. It was an accident, too. I do a very good job cleaning the mold of the castle. treasure there. What happened? Well, I was really slow there. Nothing here to some treasure? Treasure. 100 points. What's the point of that? Just to kill me? What's that? A cape on the floor? It's water. Hey, Pow Puck. You didn't miss it. Ooh. I'm not going to play this whole like, game, obviously. I'm just going to play the first level. Secret. You gonna play the first two most people don't know about? Which which one are you talking about? Oh. 
Escape from Castle. Oh, the original Castle of Inside, you mean? I've played them, yeah. That Hitler picture. Hey, Bill Keys. All right, that's it for this. I obviously didn't uh, didn't find it. You were close to everything. But like I said, I'm just gonna play one level. It needs to take shares. It needs to take shares a little common. I'm not sure how many stages are off the top of my head to be honest. But I'm gonna stop for now. Because, again, we're just doing a lot of different demos here, but yeah, here's, uh, here's my copy of Castle, one of my copies of Castle Wolfenstein. And beyond. Go back to the windows. That says most of our parts. Ids take shares so little in common, though. Pascal's head would explode. We saw his heart. I was sad. Yeah, he probably would, but luckily he's not here. Look how slow it is now. All right, uh, Inferno. Our rolling demo of this upcoming game title is silent. Unfortunately, there's no standalone demo yet that features a terrific soundtrack. We agree your right to include it. Yeah, I don't know about that. I guess let's try this. Check this out. It's take on Wolfenstein. Oh, that's what you mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it says it has the common setting, I guess. Inferno. Inferno. I mean, demo without sound to me is like shit. Like they could put any like stock sound in here or something. I know I've seen this game on eBay like millions of times. I had no idea ever what. It, ooh, that's cool. I had no idea ever what it was. That's an interesting tech demo. We can make up our own sound for it, like... Uh, another day, another dollar. Just got to first head off to the can. Drop a couple babies off at the store. And then I get to my boring 9-to-5 job. I was to press something? Commander, at last you're back. I came as clear, soon as I could, Chief. We have a crisis situation on our hands. Contact has been lost with one of our scientific research vessels en route to Cybex. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just making something up. What in blazes could have happened to these poor souls? 
Any skullduggery, I'll wager. I can smell their handiwork. I need you to deal with this personally. Blah, 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 blah. You can count on me, chief. Look at a weird face they got here. This could be the start of something very big. Or a beautiful friendship. I'm not sure yet. Just let me at them. The aliens and I have some unfinished business to attend to. Be careful and don't take any unnecessary risks. I shall launch immediately. That walking animation. Chief Rectangle. This dude. <laughs> the music was made by a band called Alien Sex Feed, really? Okay, I guess he finished waving his sticks around. He decided to disappear into the ground. <laughs> oh, and back to the title screen. Is that it? Oh, no, it was more. Meanwhile, where's the bad guys now? Rexon High Command. I guess the bad. Curse humanity! Sweet vengeance will be mine! Nothing can resist the irresistible might of the Rexon Empire! <laughs> oh my god. Together we shall crush the human vermin! Oh, my life is in preparation for this moment! I will not fail you, my lord! She like a... This guy reminds you like... All my life has been in preparation for this moment. I will not fail you, my lord. And I read it again, but... Go now, my son, for today history will be made. Protus Maxima. Remus, second mood. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? What's this guy again? It's barely room for my feet inside this thing, which I get to beat foot shoes or feet or boots, whatever that is. Blah, 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 blah. That's not even any words. No, no speech, no words, no nothing. Again, Inferno. The moment is upon us. Strike now, my child. Vengeance shall be mine to save her. <laughs> I think I just killed him. They teleported him? What the hell? They teleported him. Is this a game or a movie? Is it back to the beginning now? What the hell? It's probably best to go around. What's going on here? This is different animation. <laughs> I just have the one walking shot, I guess. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the? I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I think... Oh, oh, whoa. Holy cow. Ah! Like a giant hand, like, like enveloped the Earth. Whatever planet that was. And again, in case you ever forgot what game this is, it's Inferno, folks. You've been watching a selection of graphic sequencing music from Inferno. Inferno, truly attracted three accents out of this world. Brought to you by image, Digital Image Design, developers of TFX. I never heard of that. Discussion with Ocean Solver, O1984, PC Cabal, CD ROM, CD32, Amiga 1200, Copyright Ocean Solver Limited, 1993. Actually, it feels like a comic book, but it's in a foreign language. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm with you. I think we're all confused. Alright, that's it. How do I exit? Escape. Uh, yes. Okay. No, no. What, how do I, there's no way out of here. I think I'm trapped forever. Uh, 
There's like literally no way out of this demo. You saw an ad, Palpuck? Yeah, there's like... I have to figure out it's the settings on this thing to like make the ads not so obtrusive. It like started inserting ads because I got monetized. Um, it, su super annoying. Yeah, I have to, I'm going to have to exit this completely and just close DOSBox. By the way, guys, if you haven't hit like on the stream, please hit like now. There's a lot of people here. They only have four likes. Tell people that you like this. If, you, if in fact you do. Now I have five. Let's try that again. Uh, yeah, thanks, Ashley. It's only been like 20 years. <laughs> I got an ad when I first entered the stream, and not when I went to the refill. Was it a good ad, at least? The problem with the ads is if it interrupts what I'm doing. I thought that's annoying. It's just an ad you have to deal with. Number six, thanks, Ashley. It must have been a good ad if you can't remember what it was. All right. Uh, so this this super shareware selection is just utilities and stuff. Your digital library is more like like Moby Dick. You can read if you want or Ben Hur. So the only other games on here is is it's this shareware game stuff. So let's play like at least one of these now. We may have to like come back and do a second stream. I don't know if we'll have time to do all these now, but let's at least play the Catacomb Abyss. When pressed, actually runs in Windows. I love this game, the Catacombs. It's a whole series. If you challenge the great nemesis as a novice or a warrior, plus W. Good. I love the taste of warrior's blood. I always thought this was a cool picture. You stand before the gate leading to the town cemetery. Now, this, this is by the id software guys. Before they made Wolfenstein, they made this game. I mean, this this particular one might be like a, a soft disc one that's not made by the id people, but they made the series. You stand before the... No, it's a 3D shooter. It's a first-person shooter. You stand before the gate leading to the town cemetery. Night is falling as mournful wails mingle with the sound of your behounding heart. Through your wits of the secret knowledge of magic, you venture forth in your quest to upset the dark secrets of Nemesis, your arch rival. I mean, Nebus is a good name for a rival. Hello. Why is that going? Why is that working? That's a... Hello. Did it freeze? I don't know why it's not working. That's why I broke it. I thought it made this while they were making Wolf 3D because they owned soft disk and game. It possible one of the ones of this series. Let me try this one more time. Sorry about that. That should not have happened. Can't take Druid seriously if that one notorious box art. Which one are you talking about? The mystery of the Druids or the guy like this? Is that what you're talking about, Pow Puck? Yeah, I'm going to run it from Dawes. Probably. Uh, what's where is it? Um, I don't even see it. Where the hell is it? Dark Demo, Doom, FB Demo, Ka Demo, Law Demo, Moon Demo, Mistel, Planet, Putt Demo. Return to Zork CDs on this one also? Wait a second. Did I? What? Return to Zork is on this one too? It wasn't even the list. That's so freaking weird. Oh, I'm in the C drive. That's why. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I never mind. Ignore me, folks. 
And yet, Jewish princesses love money and power. And I have both. And you know it. Yeah, thanks, Gary. <laughs> um, so where is uh, Catacombs Inferno? Catacombs Abyss, rather. I still don't know where it is. Oh, probably under SW Games. Abyss. Catabyss. See if it works this time. Gotta speed it up, it's too slow. There we go. You arrived at the town cemetery. It's the same type of engine as Wolfenstein. I can shoot magic bolts out of my hand. This is a zapper. Now I have one zapper. That, 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 those monsters come later in the game. That's like a healing potion. Zappers let you like zap a bunch of enemies at once. Those uh, bad guys will come out of the floor. And there are you can shoot things like that. You see that so you can find in this game. You can find secret areas by shooting the walls. Which I always thought was cool. Oh shit. The grave digger keeps the key to the garden with his pet bats. I don't know why it's doing that. There's a bat. So you can, all these little things are little secrets and stuff. There's the key. There's a little bit of graphical corruption, but we can ignore that for now. Ow. Oh! When did this game come out? Uh, probably. I'm not sure. But, I mean, this this series started before Wolfenstein did. Don't miss the purple gem in this region. Did I use the key? Why oh, your red key? It's giving me some awful motion sickness. Well, I can see why. It's, it's giving me a little bit of a weird thing here. Same year as Wolfenstein. You're the key master, Gary? And I am the gatekeeper. Come here and spend some time with me. Is someone hitting me? Yeah. Damn. I'm my ass kicked from behind. Is that the key to the view? The red key? I got a bunch of stuff in that chest. So I have six zappers now, and I have... Those things are good for, like, mass attacks. Was it a red key that I needed? All right, Ashley, have a good night, or have a good evening. I, 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 this might be the last thing I play tonight. This is getting sort of late. I mean, not late, but it's. I've been streaming for almost two hours. I use a red key. See, I, oh, shit, I, I used the... And I blew up the zapper. I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button. I forgot that Enter shoots that thing. Totally a mistake. I'm hurt. But I got the gem. My guy looks a little bit disturbed. The mausoleum lies be... Oh, now it really hurt. See, the problem is they come out of the ground. So how do I take a potion? Escape options. No, I don't want that. Getting help. See, cure yourself. So I use one of the cure things. All right, Ashley, good to see you. Thanks a lot. The fact they come out of the ground is a little bit like unfair because there's no sound or anything to like 
know that they're, they're coming. And they can keep on coming. I like how there's like a little thing though that says like what's going on in this area, like the weakened walls just now. Garden entrance. Heaven's Gate. Wasn't that like a movie with uh, Warren Beatty? Chest. The cure things are the best stuff. Like the health potion, basically. Heaven's Gate was this crazy sneaker cult. Try to like strafe here so I don't get like jacked for the moment. Yeah, I, I I always like this game. I think it's really fun. Grave Diggers Storage. Sorry for making you guys sick though. What a blue key. Ankle deep in guano. This is just the first level. The poison flavor aid. Oh. Memory lanes. It's like a bowling alley. Memory lanes. Pauper's gravesite. Okay. Oh, the chest there. Nice. It's easy to, easy to get lost in these places. I don't remember where I've been. Where was that other door? That's where I just was? Uh oh, I'm like totally lost now. Yeah, this is where I just was. Memory lands. Alright, there. That's what I was trying to go to. Guardian entrance. Oh, so this is this leaves and goes to another another level, so I don't want to do that yet. I don't think. Wasn't there another way to go? A lot of disease down here. <laughs> they can ride the Haley Bop comet. Shinbone Alley. I was okay. I, I did all this, didn't I? Yeah, I just okay. I don't know where I'm going, so I'm, I, there's another door, another, like, oh, here, I haven't been here. The town Cemetery. Oh, this is where I started. I just didn't realize there was stuff here. This is where I started. I should have, oh, man, I suck. I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. I was, this is where the, that, that door was, and I wasn't here already. All right, so it wasn't here. This was the other way. Yeah, I see low energy, really? It's, I've been shooting for almost two hours, is probably why. I mean, it's... Oh, let's, I'm just gonna leave go this way. Oh, I used the key to get in here. Okay, so that was... This is the next level, but that was the way to go, because... I had to use the key to get in there. So I, th I thought because I had the extra key, then there was... Uh, I missed something, but I didn't. All right, I think we're going to stop here, guys. This has been fun. Um, I'm not sure how many more games there are in this thing. I mean, I, at one point, I'll actually play through this whole game, this Catacombs Abyss. But um, don't miss episodes 2 and 3 of the Catacomb 3 Adventures. The, so Catacomb Abyss was shareware, and then you can also get the Catacomb Armageddon and the Catacomb Apocalypse. And there was also other games before that at UN. So I, I really always liked this game, and... I definitely intend to stream it at some point. Gamer's Edge. Excuse me. But, uh... Let's see what else there is. So we still have um, a whole bunch of more games on this thing. Aliens, Ancients 1, Bip Bop 2, Bricks, Blakestone, Empire 2, Gold Monkey, Shido, Kosinka 2, Lost the Labyrinth, Pork, 
That's a text adventure, I think, a parody of Zork. Yeah, Rune Mania, Solar Winds, Stellar Defense 2, T Zero Solar Winds is a great game. Uh T Zero Vampire. Never heard of that one. A graphic adventure. And Xanti. And also Wind Track, which I've streamed on this game on this channel before. Star Trek movie snippet? Oh my god. That's awesome. <laughs> Call the movie movie BBS. Looks like it was in Brooklyn or Queens. We are movies. That was very cool. <laughs> All right, guys. I, that's going to be it for right now. Thank you very much, everyone who was here today and putting up with the ads. Make sure you liked if you didn't like. Subscribe if you're watching this after the fact. Thank you to Matt, to Palpuck, to uh, Ashley, to Dorian, to Gary from Rock Solid Productions, to uh, uh, Stars Manny was here before, Hopster Key was here before, Bill Keys was here before. Uh, who am I forgetting? Who did I not say? Did I miss anybody? I probably did. Oh, Lewis was here before. I forgot that. And uh, I think that was... Based oh, Jim Leonard was here before, too. And thank you also to people that didn't show up today. So if you're watching this after the fact, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought. We'll hopefully do this again real soon. I've got a huge stack of these demos. And, uh, yeah, th th Dorian says, thank you for the stream, Stu. Do you have a mind off stuff? Matt says, fun stream. Good night. Good night, everybody. Peace out. We'll do this again real soon. Thanks a lot. Have a great evening.